It is a Christmas tradition that we open our secret Santa gifts to each other every Christmas Eve and the kids are dying to tear into these gifts. So we're gonna all go downstairs, gather around and open our gifts from each other. Welcome back everybody. It is Christmas Eve. Everybody around here is super excited. Claire here is uh, just wrapping some gifts. She ended up getting Terry's name in the gift exchange and her and I worked on a very special gift. So Claire, how excited are you? I'm so excited. I can't wait for Christmas and I can't wait to open your gift. Claire has been bugging me all day to get this gift here because I I'm not like Terry. I don't like to hide my gifts around the house. I keep them down at the shop to make sure that they stay secret. Maybe this will be big enough. All right, so what I, what you ought to do is test it. Yeah, wrap the other one around. We just ended up cutting the paper a little bit short on the last one. That's why it's over here all balled up. So yeah, maybe, the, and then cut like that way. Give yourself a little bit of extra. Looks like Poppy's gonna help you out just a little bit. Maybe all I can help too. Team effort. By walking on my paper. If you know, if you need them to like put a pie in while you tie the ribbon, they could do that. While Claire is uh, finishing up her gift, the master chef is over here making some syrup, right? Yep, coconut, coconut. syrup. This recipe is, uh, you know, Terry's favorite. She doesn't give this out and I think some of our friends are asking for it, so it's gonna go well with our Christmas gift. Yep, we have a few more Christmas gifts we have to go deliver today, and I've been asked specifically for the coconut syrup, so I'm gonna stick this in with their gift, and they can use it on Christmas morning. And what is their gift? So their gift is fresh dough from Waffle Love, which is a place here that sells, I think they're Belgium waffles. So anyways, you can make your own waffles. It's a tradition I started last year with our kids. Went and got the dough. Um, so that's what we do on Christmas morning is those waffles with the kids. And you can put Nutella, cookie butter, uh, fresh fruit, whatever. So that's what I have for them, along with my syrup and all the toppings. Amazing. They're gonna absolutely love it. It's good. It's gonna be great. Did we get the dogs anything for Christmas? <laughs> I got them a new bag of um, bones, so. A new bag of bones? <laughs> wow. Man, you guys are going to be so excited, aren't you? Nobody ever brings me a bag of bones. <laughs> I'll get you a bag of bones. <laughs> Syrup's all done, ready to go. Got the funnel out. Ooh. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Right to the top. We've got to get this on store shelves. Call it, <laughs> call it coconutties, whatever. Pretty dang good syrup. My kids won't even eat anything, pancakes or waffles without it anymore. It's kind of annoying because <laughs> I don't know how to make it and if you're not around or not up, kids don't want to have maple syrup. I know. Nobody wants Jemima's anymore. <laughs> it is a Christmas tradition that we open our secret Santa gifts to each other every Christmas Eve and the kids are dying to tear into these gifts. So we're gonna all go downstairs, gather around and open our gifts from each other and then no more gifts till Christmas, even though they would love to tear into everything right now. Claire can like hardly stand herself right now. So we're gonna get this done and then get on to the rest of the baking for dinner tonight. All right, Claire, who did you have? I had you. So Claire had mom. Owen, who did you have? Carmen. Okay, Clay? I had Claire. Carmen? I had Austin. Austin, who did you have? Dad, but he is getting two gifts from me. One for today, one for tomorrow. Yeah. And I had Owen. So, how are we gonna do this? Let's start with me, youngest to oldest. All right. Youngest to oldest. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh, get away from the tape. Do you have any guesses what it is before you tear into it? Nope. No guesses at all. Probably like Star Wars Lego kit. I don't know. Star Wars Lego kit. <laughs> what do you tell Owen? Thank you, Owen. Yep. All right, Clever, turn. your turn. What is it? 
don't know. Um, intelligent lighting. Wait, what is? Oh, it's a Bluetooth speaker, right? Yes, that is correct. It's waterproof. Not a red or yellow tooth. It's a Bluetooth. <laughs> it's waterproof, right? That is correct. Yes, I knew it. I guessed it. I was so confused. Like on the back, it says a tent. I know. I was like, um. For camping only. <laughs> It's for camping or anywhere. It says it's weatherproof, so. Weather. So you could use it in a tornado. So when it's raining outside, run outside, put your speaker out there, turn on a good song. Okay, my turn. And I'm sing waiting. and dance in the rain. Yes! Put on rain in the Yes! <laughs> That's a 45 count. Oh, it's long, Gordon. Hee hee. Such a baller. It's like an egg for a second. <laughs> a black egg? Yeah. Skating helmet, huh, dude? Protect your noggin while you're skating. Thank you. Put it on. Okay. Try it on. It's gonna have like a nice brim on there. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, you got a flat brim helmet. Does it fit? Yes. Looks good. It's a good fit. Well, it's my speaker. It's fancy. Oh, light show. All right, now Austin's turn. Austin's gonna like what I got him. By the way, that's just in the box. It's not true. Thanks for letting me know. Ooh, some ski gloves. It's pretty sweet. Thanks, Carm. Welcome. Now, Daddy. Oh, nice. Those are nice gloves. Now open. Yeah, I don't see. They fit your long fingers. Yeah. Nice. Claire, is there only one? Sweet, they should keep your hands warm. Yeah, they should. They're sweet. I'm older than Terry, so she is up next. And obviously, ladies first, right? What do you think it is, Sarah? Meow. <laughs> Trapped up her dang cat. <laughs> that looks like my sweater. Oh, maybe yeah. you'll get your wallet too. <laughs> My wallet. Do you like it? Really? I wanted to get you something you use every day. Hey, it's my mom. Nice. My own AirPods. AirPod hey, Pro. Isn't that great? Yeah, now, that's great. Now Terry won't have to steal my AirPods. <laughs> I don't like anybody else using my AirPods, so you got your own pair. Sweet. Thank you. I just realized this look, this is the glittery kind. No way. This one's just regular. I had no idea you got the glitter kind. But oh, you didn't need to get me this because I already have the gun in my room. So me and Clark can both do it. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you had the gun. <laughs> All right, now is this going to hold everybody over until Christmas morning? Nope. Claire and Carmen. Claire, we're actually talking to you specifically. <laughs> no more gifts till tomorrow. Oh, fine. All right. Mom and I have got these gifts we've got to run around, and so we'll be back. We'll let you guys play with your gifts. Claire, you rock out. Owen, skate it up. Austin, keep your hands warm. <laughs> uh, da Vinci it up, whatever that means. Do you not open your gifts, did you? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, oh, we haven't. <laughs> what, what am I even talking about here? I haven't even opened my own gift. Am I crazy? Here it is, right here. It's in this little box. I'm excited to see what Austin got you. What do you think's in here? I don't even know what I got. Yet. You don't? <laughs> That's, you didn't, you didn't like think she about. She stole my gift, so she gave you your own gift, apparently. Could this be a shirt? Could it be? I'm not telling. Dolly Parker. They're gloves. <laughs> They're gloves. Could they be surfing gloves? They I mean, are they ice fishing gloves. I got you some Bass Pro gloves from your little men. Really, I thought these were like for extreme winter surfing <laughs> when I went with Justin because they look like the neoprene rubber ones. They are neoprene, but they're ice fishing gloves. Really? Apparently they're like the new rage. I don't know. That's what really? I was told. It's so you like... don't have to, you know, when you're, I mean, I've never been ice fishing, but when you're reeling in a fish, you can not have to take your gloves off oh. and, and get your gloves wet. I don't know. What's the holes for? So you can stick your fingers through them if you need to, you know, have your oh, fingers really? free. Nice. Got fish. Dang, look at that. <laughs> All right, it's cold. It's yeah. pretty fancy. Nice. And you can strap them up. Look at this. So water doesn't get in there. Some wicked tuna gloves. Pretty impressive. But that's your fun. Thanks, Austin. Sure. Even Austin's surprised what I got. He <laughs> gave me the gift. 
Can well, I somebody's got to do the shopping around yes. here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now that our family gift exchange is over, we are back to what we were working on. Um, we have got these gifts being put together right here. The fruit, the cookie butter. Is that like Nutella? Hazelnut? Nutella. Well. Hazelnut spread. Yeah. And then this is the waffle dough in here. The waffle dough. So. Perfect. And last but not least. Special syrup. Special syrup. All right. Here we go. We are back from dropping off gifts at our friend's house. However, Austin and I are now gonna run out because uh, we've gotta grab a couple things at the grocery store. And he's also trying to find a ring, like a metal ring type thing for one of his dirt bikes. So we're gonna go chase those down real quick. Terry in here is uh, quickly trying to get some rolls made. It's just been Running out of time. a busy morning We're trying to get everything go. done. She is just obviously turning circles right now. Uh, it is getting down to the wire. Her sister and her family's coming over tonight to have dinner and so we got a lot to do. I'm doing my best to stay out of the kitchen. Typically I like to hide when Terry's baking that way. I can relax and she does most of the work. <laughs> Just admitted it on camera, folks. <laughs> I should have came out and started the car. It looks like Austin uh, is gonna drive today, which is actually not my favorite thing, but I'm getting more used to it. What's up? You ready to go? Yeah, I guess. You don't have your seatbelt on. I don't think you're that ready. Well, Safety first, bud. Yeah, we could right. get pulled over or something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> But we don't need mud flaps on the old Infinity. Good thing. <laughs> See, how come you're driving so fast, dude? I'm not, late. Yeah. You're always on the pedal, man. I'm on the speed limit. <laughs> no, you're not, dude. This company is coming for us. Austin is always telling me that I need to get an exhaust system on my car, but I don't want my car to be that loud. I think it's fine right now. Every car we're in, he like wants to change it, like the van, he like wants to paint like some flames on the side of it, right? <laughs> then that van would be sweet if it had some flames in the exhaust system. The van would be sick if it had some blades on it. Some blades? Yeah. So every vehicle we pass, like man, that truck needs a lift. Uh, it needs a super duper exhaust with a chip and a delete. And uh, it's quite comical riding around in Fasti. He lets me know like, what his thoughts are on every vehicle. Austin, what's your thoughts on this Explorer in front of us with the Eddie Bauer edition? Uh, what do you think? It's probably cool back in 1990 when it came out, <laughs> but it's a little outdated. It is? Yes, the Carhartt Chevys that just came out are pretty sweet. Carhartt Chevys? Mm -hmm. No way. Yep. I need to do this. You gotta get yourself one of those. No, Chevys are not. <laughs> They're not? No. That truck right there, though. Austin likes these Dodges right here. I don't know, man. We're not a Dodge, Dodge guy. hat right now. Uh, we're gonna have to get him a Fort Power Struck hat. I don't know what's up with his love or obsession with Dodges. Be a man and drive Fords. <laughs> Fords only. Uh, you're gonna get hate for driving a Ford. <laughs> what? Yes. Austin and I have made it to Ace. He is betting me that the part is here. I'm telling him the uh, part is not. And uh, so we've got 20 bucks on the line. I want to get the part right from Rocky Mountain ATV where I know it's the exact part that we need. Austin's just like, we'll just go find some washer about the right size and put it on the bike, which I don't love, but he swears it's here. So 20 bucks, it's gonna be in my pocket here shortly. No, it's <laughs> gonna be in my pocket. <laughs> no, no, All right, let's go find out. Let's go check it out. Is that it, the large retaining rings? Big. No way. Tell you. Well, I may have just lost 20 bucks, but. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's go find out. I didn't think they'd have it. They'd never have what I need when it comes to dirt bike parts. Okay. Well, Austin is 20 bucks richer because of uh, Dad not knowing exactly what Ace has. I guess Austin knows, you know, Ace's inventory that they're going to have the correct parts. I have never found the right part that I need at an Ace Hardware 
for a dirt bike, ever. So, lucky Austin. 20 bucks in your pocket, bro. See, I told you. <laughs> I had to run into the grocery store real quick and grab a few things for Terry. And just because I'm a man of my word, 20 bucks for Austin. Thank you. Don't be thinking you can just get 20 bucks by betting me on everything from here on out. <laughs> I'll bet you on everything. <laughs> All right, let's head on home and help your mother. <laughs> what are you doing? Drunks. Being crazy? Throwing scrunchies. Throwing scrunchies. Yeah! Girls, we need to turn on the Christmas tree. Our Christmas party is about ready to start. Christmas party? Yeah, with our, with our family this time. Terry just can't seem to get enough today. She's moved on from the rolls, and now she is on to cookies for Santa. I'm gonna be disappointed when he stops at our house. Carmen already told me that. You, oh, really? We got the Christmas tree on. Oh, you did? Oh, beautiful. How many cookies does Santa typically like to eat? What's one times five? Oh, uh, five. What's that times five? 25. <laughs> no, what's, what's that divided by five? Five. <laughs> no, add what? Six. Now add another one. Seven. <laughs> now add two. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> he likes nine cookies? No, now divide that by two. Uh, 4.5. Four and a half. Wait, no. Sorry, don't divide that by two. Um, times it by two. 18. Now minus one. 17. Now add three. 20. That's how many cookies he eats. 20 cookies? <laughs> And then, wow. add, and then add 20. 40. He needs 40 cookies. 40 cookies. No wonder he was stung by such a big bee. <laughs> stung by a bee, Scott? A big bee? But I got stung by a big bee once. You did? Did it make you swell up? I was three, so yeah. It went right here, right here, and right here on my wrist. Really? Ouch. Yeah. And the bee, like, went. I don't like how I feel robbed, dead. <laughs> he actually said that? He said, I don't, I do not like you? Wow, and then he was dead. And then another bee came along and said, you killed my friend, Bob. <laughs> and then he died, and then another one said, you killed my brother, yeah. And I said, I don't like you, so goodbye. Ah. Well, that was the long story of how Carmen got stung by three bees. <laughs> I sent Clay to the grocery store to get me a few things that I forgot to grab at the store for dinner tonight. And of course, every time he goes, he brings home his own little surprises. What? <laughs> every time. Heck yes, I do. Tonight's Sending for the essentials and he comes home with more than the essentials. Uh, what did you find at the store tonight? Martinelli's, baby. I know 20, 21's coming up quick, but we're gonna celebrate we're early. We're celebrating early, huh? Yes, we are. We got these little um, milk can looking jars, cups, <laughs> glasses. Can I have some? Yes. What flavor did you get? Um, it is called Sparkling Blush. I tried to find just grape because grape is amazing. I know grape is Ew, typically like for apple. five year olds, like grape juice, but <laughs> grape juice is the best. They just had apple grape, which mm, I don't know about that, but Sparkling Blush. Could be delicious. It's like oh, it? apple juice. Really? I don't like apple juice. You don't? Know? Sparkling like apple this. juice? Let's see. But I like this. Grown fresh apples and raspberry concentrate. Ooh. Apples good. and raspberry. The cup should make it taste better just because it's cute and small. Carmen's not a fan. Claire, what do you think? No, I like it. It's just weird. It's good. The book got her face like that. It's good at first. It's great. This is great. I want to taste weird at the end. Oh, so bad aftertaste. No, not bad. It's just weird. It's a, it's like you get a little bit of like actual sparkling sparkling water. It's kind of strange. <laughs> really. uh, is it just me, or does Martinelli's never really taste good? It never really does. Do it has people, to be like super cold for me that, to I like it. I think that's got to be the thing. It's got to be super cold. Yeah. However, I think people just buy it because it's in a cool bottle, right? <laughs> it's the coolest bottle. Let's get it. It's got to be it cold, cold, like cold.
Dinner is all wrapped up. Terry's sister and her family just went home. And the girls here are getting more excited by the minute, especially this little one right over here. What are you doing? Um, are you trying to pull up the Santa tracker? No. Oh, Carmen was looking for that earlier. What are you doing? Um, well, I am now. Yay, found it. Found the Santa tracker? Um, yes. No, more easy. Based off the Santa tracker app, he will be here in maybe four to six hours. So the girls have got to get their teeth brushed here soon. He's, he's what? He's already here. He's already back here. Oh, that's in South America. He was right here and now he's in here. Oh, wow. Wait, no, I think he was right here. Oh, he's moving quick. That was really weird. He was down here and now he's all the way back up here. He's coming back to he's North America. Oh, yes. Santa's coming back. He's coming back. That's what he's doing. You guys better hurry up and get in I bed. was so confused why he's coming back up here. He's coming back. <laughs> oh. That's it's all starting to make sense, right? Okay, yeah. One of the last things we gotta do around here is get the milk and cookies out for Santa. And the girls are just getting the stocking set out just right. Right over here on the couch. This is where I always am. I'm Noel. This is where... You're Noel? Yeah. Okay. This is where Carmen always is. She's Joy. And then the boys. This is where Owen always is. And then this, let me put the Sorry. What about mine and mom's, where is it at? That's where Austin usually is, and then yours, right there. Oh, adorable. Milk and cookies right here on the coffee table, just so Santa will be able to see them easily. I am so, I can't believe it's Christmas, like actually. I know. Like, yeah. it's gone by so fast. It's crazy. Before we know it, 2021 will be here. And let's all hope, let's pray, it is a lot better year than 2020. Carmen's just putting out a note for Santa, letting him know that it is for him. Santa. We don't want anybody getting confused on who that's for, right? There's stuff inside. Oh, there is. Oh, a full note. Oh, well, let's check it out for just a second. What does it say? Read it to us, Carmen. It says, Dear Santa, Merry Christmas. I'm sorry if we haven't been so nice, but we are so <laughs> sorry. Love, Carmen. We are so sorry. I think that'll do it. I think Santa is a man of mercy. I think you'll be just fine. Do a sincere Merry Christmas for everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> All right, girls. Off to bed. Nope. See you guys Still tomorrow go. at 9 a.m. Nobody gets up before 9 a.m. 2 a.m. Yeah, Claire. Santa Claus is coming if you're at getting two. up at 2 a.m., you're grounded. Claire gets up at 2, I get up at 3, Owen gets up before we open at 5. Uh, negative. Don't you be getting up any earlier than 6. I was kidding about 9. Positive! 6 o'clock. Positive! Don't come out until 6 a.m. No, we won't come out. We'll come out after 1 We'll come out, out after. 1.50. I don't think Santa will even have came by 1.50. Okay, fine. No, yeah. no, because Dad, okay, did you see? 6 a.m. Did you see how fast he was moving on that tracker Santa thing? Yeah, he's moving pretty quick. Like he went from like Florida to like Jamaica to like, I don't know, I'm gonna go check really quick. Time to go to bed. Nighty night. Terry here is slaving away, doing the dishes from tonight's dinner. It was amazing. You've spent a lot of time in this kitchen today. It was amazing. <laughs> she deserves a back rub from Owen. I think that really hit the spot. He's in Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee? Yeah. He is coming fast. You guys better hurry in bed. Zoom in. Right now. Bedtime. He's in the United States. It says that. That is correct. Memphis is in the United States. Memphis, United States, New Bern. Where's that at? It's in Tennessee. I don't know where Newborn is, but... No, it says New Bern. New Bern? Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't know where that's at. Doesn't matter. He's not in Utah. Doesn't matter. There's still time to get in, to get to sleep. We don't want to miss him. Good Everyone hurry. Job. All right, guys. We are wrapping up a super fun Christmas Eve here in the McNeil house. We've had a ton of fun hanging out as a family today. Clay actually had the day off. Surprise, surprise. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, we had a delicious dinner, yummy dessert, hanging out with cousins. This has been a tradition that we do with my sister's family since our kids were teeny tiny. And um, tonight we did a lot of reenacting photos of when the kids were little versus now. So we'll be sure to share those because I think you guys will enjoy them. They're pretty funny. 
Um, we want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. We realize when this video comes out, Christmas will have passed. So we hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. We love you all and we're so grateful for you. Thanks for watching our channel. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Later.